If you... I was only a child then. It was a dark, terrible time. And our victory was in no way assured. Everyone on that wall! Now! Get that soldier back on his feet! Good. All right, Gears, get up that ladder! What Boy, happened? Come on up! Where the hell am I? Uh, uh.
A brave group of soldiers, led by Marcus Phoenix, finally ended our locust nightmare. How dearly I wish Sergeant Phoenix could be with us here today. Stop and think about the men and women whose sacrifices guaranteed our survival. Thanks to them, we fought through the long twilight. We built a new prosperity. The world the new cog has ensured knows no war, no suffering. It's a world of safety of family, a world finally at peace. Hey, you coming? Just give me a sec. For a butterfly? Yeah, look. You know how this little guy starts out? Trying to stay alive. <laughs> True. But if it survives, and most don't, it finds a way to change. The little larva becomes a chrysalis. Inside, it destroys and rebuilds itself, changing its color, its shape, it gets wings, claws. It slashes its way out of its cage, and then... And then it's new and beautiful. You shouldn't have come. Save your breath, JD. That one, <laughs> she's a mother's daughter. She really is. I really am. We used to protect Cox settlements. Now we're about to raid one. Is that ironic? Technically, no. <laughs> Raiding is what outsiders do. Until you two showed up. Now, pff, boring. Better bored than dead, old man. There's a difference. Huh, no alarm. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're not gonna be bored. Dead, on the other hand. That's not the security alarm. Shit, wind flare! We can take cover inside the settlement! To the wagon, all of you! Go! Go! 